Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the JS13K Games 2018 competition. Um, every year, there's one of these. It's basically a JavaScript coding competition for HTML5 game developers. Um, all of the file size need to be set to 13 kilobytes, which means they're very, very, very tiny games. The theme for 2018 was offline. I'm playing all of these games for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can check them out for yourself. All my info is off description so you can check me out on various social media platforms or support me on Patreon if you like this sort of video content. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on BigBossBattle.com. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Next. We're playing Laser Grid, which is a game that also is meant to be in VR. Alright, so we can kind of move these around. Got it. I mean, we can just kind of click on this box and it rotates. I'm not really sure if I know what. Okay, so here's the laser. Ooh. Alright, yeah, well. Is that it? It's like obviously that's not gonna work. So I bet shit goes around this way. Alright, there we go. I wish there was a second when it sort of highlighted or illuminated in some way that was like, yeah, you finish this level. I bet this, and then we've gotta go this way. This way. How do we turn you though? You seem to be quite over there. I can't move around or anything. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, it's totally using the wrong keys. I feel like we solved that puzzle and it flicked over to a new puzzle before I even realized. You know what I mean? Hmm. Lots of puzzles. Next. We're playing Signalmon. How to play Signalmon. Go offline to get rid of the flies. Uh, this appears if you're online, it dies. If you're offline, it's attracted by noises. These are good things. Bad things are like needing sleep and hunger. Prevent sleep. Alright, so food source. Okay. This is a good little pet. We've got a lot, a lot of bad bugs though. So I don't understand how we go offline. Do we need to, like, refresh the page? I did refresh the page. But I don't think that actually did anything. How do we go offline? It doesn't say. I feel like it might mean, like, literally go offline. Give you a ball. Look at this dead, very dead thing. Do you want to eat? Om nom nom. Eat one of the flies. There's another dead one that you can eat. I feel like I broke the ball. It's a very, very cute game graphically. Hmm. Cool. Let's sleep more. I can just click these regardless of not having any money though. Hmm. Next. We're playing Polylithic. It's a fast-paced, skill-based sci-fi MOBA. Your mothership's core power is offline. You must create drones and gather uranium stones, jumping in and out of existence. Your opponent's trying to do the exact same thing. Either beat him to a 350 stone reverse re re reserves, or destroy his mothership. Drones pick up uranium stones untouched. They have to carry them back to the mothership. Opposing drones get destroyed when they cla clash. Drone damage enemy motherships by the amount of stone they're carrying. Left click. Each drone costs five. Left click. Cool. All right. Oh, I'm waiting for an opponent. Okay. All right. All right. We're in. So we just both kind of crashed into each other. Uh, I'm blue. I don't know why I'm going straight towards the middle of the location. Yeah, I want you to like pick up stones. I don't seem to see my opponent doing anything. Which is fine, I'm just picking up stones and I'm gonna bring these back to my mothership. Right, and then it goes straight back into the middle, which I don't want it to do automatically. So we can probably destroy them though. Because that does the amount of damage. 
No, you go there. No, I'm gonna grab some. I feel like this is a fast game to win. Especially as my enemy is not collecting any stones. Bam. Yeah, that killed off most of their reserves. I can't seem to spawn anyone else, though. Hmm. Next. We're playing cable maze. We need to replace the LAN cable. We have to connect LAN cables to the socket. Blue circle before everything goes offline. So we use arrow keys. There's limited stuff like the cable length. Ah, oh, mazes. So we need to get to here. I normally do mazes back to front. Does this make sense? But not only do you need to find the correct path, no more cable remaining, you need to find the most efficient path. So I see lots of different paths to get here, but are all of them, like which one's efficient enough? We also have a timing issue, so I'm gonna go up there. Try and go really fast. I think this might just make it, yes, okay. I quite like that length's an issue. That's a dead end. All right, so that's the only way out of there. That's quite windy. I'm gonna try to do it. It's also quite windy. Oh. And time's really ticking down for this one. So I'm just trying to rush. This is, we don't have enough cable. It's a really windy path. Ah, we did, we did. Arrow keys inverted. Well, that doesn't sound fun. Now it's a separate way. Oh. Okay, we'll go this way. Yeah, that's blocked off, so you need to go like... Ah, oh, it's not, it's not going to be enough. Nope. <laughs> Next. We're playing Astrolink, which looks like we're supposed to, um... I don't know, link stuff together. I feel like, uh, see, I'm linking everything with lines behind me by staring at them. And you can find yellow, I think there's one up there, yellow links to go higher and to complete a circuit, which gives us money by the looks of things. I'm not sure what purple does, but purple looks more rare than this uh, pink. So that's why I'm going to it sometimes. Can we go back on ourselves? Yeah, that seemed to actually give us money to go back on ourselves. There's currently no goal. We're just creating this sort of line. Can look back over the lines you've got. You can just go back over this one. Okay. Oh, I see a yellow one. Okay. Hmm. Next. We're playing Envisionator. Music's quite nice. <clears throat> hey, you there. Yes, you. Come over here. Do you see that little robot, the one with the monitor? That's a fixed input field operator. You need to get through the door. Use arrow keys to find move. Press Z to activate the FIFO. Oh, that's three. Wait, wait. Cool. The building is under lockdown and all outside communication are down. It's working late, my lab when the door was locked, and now I'm locked in. Fortunately, the FIFO control network was isolated and is still active. So that's sort of up, up, over, over. I just want to see what happens. Okay. All right, all right. Cool. We go over, up, up, over, over. Maybe not. Maybe we only need to do one up. Right? Does that make sense? No, I wanted to erase all that. My bad, my bad. So we go over. Up. Over. Over, over, over. Go down. Does need to go up twice. Ah, oh, it just goes to sleep. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Maybe that. I don't know why that's so hard for me, these types of games. As you may have noticed, the room layout is ridiculous. 
Uh, some spe specta uh, some speculate the architect was mad. Others say they were built by weasels. I just want to see what this thing does, really. Ah, it's a block that goes up. Move one of them. You just want to wait. Cool. That looks like it could be right. Oh, that. That did a thing. Hmm, this is really neat. Neat puzzle game. Next. We're playing Escape Room. Welcome. If you dare to play this game, do not be afraid. Whatever happens past this point, remember it's only a game. To play, you can press enter uh, when you see more below. So we can look. Okay, so look, use. You wake up on a cold floor. You sit up and realize your ankles are ma manist. A chain runs from them to a rusty radiator. You find yourself in a room with smooth walls. It appears to be made of stainless steel. There is a single door. Bones line up on the corner. Radiator with a chain running out of it connects to the pair of mouses. Command list. Command. Let's look self. Your shirt is torn, the long sleeves are shredded, your pants are torn, and the pant leg are shredded as well. You notice you're missing a pinky finger on your left hand, and you are not wearing shoes. You can feel something in your pocket. Use pocket. Well, it seems like a great idea in your head. You're not sure how that will be useful right now. Look pocket. Um, you find a pen, a matchbook, and a pack of chewing gum. Okay, so we have a pen, a matchbook. Look door. It's hard to get a good look while you're at change the radiator. Look. Radiator. Look all around. Radiator. Okay. Look around. Look around. Alright, so we're in a room. Look. Bones. The bones have been picked clean. It looks like they have been chewed by a pack of hungry dogs. You would guess this used to be uh, a side of beef. Alright, so at least the dogs aren't eating humans. Look. Uh, look. Use match. Hmm. Look. Pocket. Use gum. You pop a stick of gum in your mouth. It's both minty and refreshing. Hmm. I'm unsure what to do. I'm never very good at these, especially under time pressure, but this is very well written. Next. We're playing Predestine. Oh, so we seem to have crashed. All right. Hello, Captain. The crash damaged most of our ship, and 90% of the systems are offline. We can attempt a repair, but it will. But I will need you to activate the auxiliary control sequence so I can run an overall diagnostics report. Select the blinking eye on the screen to start. Validate that you are a human. Decipher the activation codes. It's purple, blue, blue, red, green, purple. Yay! I am not a robot. Alright, so this is all loading. There's a lot of offline stuff. The status of the spaceship is critical, and we have 1% of power. Chance to survive on minimum. Two courses of action possible. Prepare the ultracom to request a rescue operation to repair the escape pod to try and reach the space station. Choose a course of action by selecting. Let's do pods. You select to the escape pod with 1% of power. We cannot display the pod. First, we need to repair the power generator. Alright, click and drag to cables. Yeah, I know I failed it. Like, the words didn't go away fast enough. Cool. There you go. Successful. So it's just a bunch of mini games. We've got another thing online. Good job, Captain. With the fix, our power levels went up to 5%. Enough to deploy pod, however, we need to fix the leak of the fuel tank. Tap holes to seal them. All right. There's a lot of holes. Holes seem to be appearing. I'm liking the fact that it's a bunch of mini games. That's pretty cool. Awesome, repair successful. We're gonna fix the whole ship by the end of this. Next. We're playing Hoverla. Try to reach the peak. These graphics are beautiful. Ah, oh, so I just I started placing this. Oh, okay. So what we probably need to do is stop these rocks from hitting our uh, runner here. These graphics are really, really pretty. So far, so good. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Catch him. Aw. Yes, we didn't get there because of the rocks. It's a very simple game, <clears throat> but I quite like it. No, you need to go. Yeah, you need to go up the hill. Why are you sitting down by the fire? That's not what you're meant to do. I like these little details in the mountain. Um, oh, I need to really just stay right in front of him. Um, the dinosaur bones and such are quite nice. Next. We're playing alone in the darkness. Okay, I'm here alone with my phone offline. Nothing broken. I can move or sprint. I can use my flashlight. I have to find network with five bars using my phone signal. I've seen some shadows moving. They seem to be attracted by light. I should avoid them or detect them with my camera flash. Right, so let's flash. There's clearly, um... Ooh, sorry. There's clearly... Oh, no, I've broken this. Held down control. So I know where they are. He's right there. So I need to kind of, like, push up against this wall and then run. Oh. Yeah, let's run, maybe. Our camera battery is still recharging. Also, so is our sprint. I'm not sure where these five bars will be. Ah, oh, here, this will go deeper. I have to find a place with five bars before leaving the stage. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not sure what having five bars will really do. Yeah, I shouldn't have put you back to the initial point. Okay. Shouldn't have gone in that room. Hmm. Next. <clears throat> 